My name is Tsunio Shimoto, and I'm a professor of the Graduate School of Engineering at Toei University of Yokohama in Japan. Speaking of the new coronavirus, it is said to spread by splashing or contact. In short, it is important to keep a distance and not to touch. My research has no direct relationship with this new coronavirus, but I've been studying a non-contact acoustic inspection method that can detect defects from long distance in a non-contact manner. So this time, I'd like to introduce the non-contact acoustic inspection method basic concrete part that can detect a defect using sound waves without touching the object from a distance. Using this method, it is possible to search for defects such as under high bridges and ceilings of underground cavities, which were difficult in the past. Background There are a lot of concrete structures such as buildings, bridges, and tunnels. Non destructive inspections for concrete structures are necessary because it is dangerous if the full accident of a concrete fragment occurs. This photograph shows the full accident of the tunnel ceiling board in Japan. At that time, nine people dead. However, the most often used inspection methods are visual testing and hammering test. The advantage is low cost. And disadvantages, this method depend on tester's skill. Especially in the case of hammering test, it needs to approach the measurement surface. Therefore, Scaffolding or aerial work vehicles are required at the tunnel ceiling, as shown in this photograph. Of course, various quantitative non-destructive inspection methods have already been developed. However, as shown in this photograph, none of the methods have improved the work efficiency because the inspection needs to be performed in the state of contact or nearly contact. How about a non-contact inspection method from a distance of 5 meters or more? As shown here, an infrared method using an infrared camera and a laser remote sensing method using a powerful pulse laser have been developed. However, since the infrared camera is basically a method of measuring temperature, it is not suitable for use in places where there is a little temperature change, such as tunnel ceilings and under bridges. In other words, the detection accuracy is conditioned by environmental temperature. And in the case of the laser remote sensing method, since the high power laser is necessary, there is a problem in electric power and safety. So we propose non-contact acoustic inspection NCI method for concrete inspection. In a proposed method, an acoustic irradiation in its vibration and a scanning laser Doppler vibrometer SADV are used. This method has the advantage that non-contact, safety, and long-distance measurement are possible. In this method, sound waves are emitted from a sound source, and vibration energy is applied to the measurement surface. The distribution of vibration velocity of the target surface is measured by SADV or LDV. Defects are detected by the flexion resonance vibration. So, NCI method is a non-destructive inspection method with high energy efficiency, measurable throughout the day with a small dynamo, utilizing flexural resonance, same as hammering test. So, our method utilizes flexural vibration. If a defect exists in shallow part under concrete surface, the upper part on the defect gets like a concrete ball. By impacting with a hammer, a flexural vibration is excited on the concrete ball. The same phenomenon occurs also by a sound wave. The characteristics of the flexural vibrations are low frequency, high amplitude, and slow damping time. Tone bus wave is used as an emission waveform. Since the laser head has high sensitivity, it is necessary to avoid the influence of reflected sound. So, measurement is performed outside the time zone with the laser head vibrate due to a reflected wave from the object. We call this measurable time zone. Therefore, a tone bus wave that can effectively use the measurable time zone and at the same time 
obtain an excitation force has been created. Actual sound is like this, single tone burst waves and multi tone burst waves. To confirm the detectable size and depth, the experiment using concrete test object was carried out. Experimental setup is like this. Long range acoustic device, Elado, is used as a sound source. Sound pressure is set to about 100 dB near the concrete surface. Detectable size and depth are studied using this like concrete test object, in which various size styrofoam, thickness 25 meter, were buried as the circular cavity defect models. This table shows the experimental result. Vertical axis and horizontal axis show the diameter and the depth of the simulated defect. The upper row shows a blind test result using a log hammer by three person. The lower row shows the detection result of our proposed method. And blue hatchings shows the detectable range of our proposed method. From this table, we can see detection in the almost same range as the hammer method is possible for our proposed method. But in this case, 25-6 styrofoam is used as a cavity defect. Considering about more realistic defect, we made this right clock models using concrete pillar test pieces. This is a cross-sectional view where a clock model is embedded in a concrete specimen. Clock width 0, 0 0.5, 1.0, .0, and 25mm styrofoam were prepared. Here, 0mm width means divided in two and no spacers. This is an experimental result of clock models. This figure is called the vibration velocity spectrum. The vertical axis represents the measured vibration velocity and the horizontal axis represents the frequency. From this figure, spectrum peak depends on the clock width, but all clock defects were detected. The peak frequency differs even if the plane size is the same because the contact surface is not flat. Interestingly, same detection can be made by the radar inspection, but when the clock width is 0 mm, it is difficult to detect the defect. However, by the NCI method, since the resonance frequency can be observed if very few air layers exist, it is detectable also by clock width 0 mm. Up to now, only resonance frequency is used. However, when only one frequency is used for defect detection, the defect size may be mistaken. This is an example of the actual vibration velocity spectrum. Defect shapes in real structures are complex, so multiple resonance peaks are often detected in this way. So, to confirm the size and shape of the defect, the area of the vibration velocity spectrum, that is the vibration energy, is used for imaging. This is an example of the vibration velocity spectrum of a concrete specimen. The left figure is the defective part, and the right figure is the healthy part. From these figures, it can be seen that the vibration energy is totally different. Therefore, we introduce the vibration energy ratio like this formula, where PSC defect and PSC health are power spectrum density of a defective part and healthy part. Usually, the minimum energy of the scan area is used as a PSD house. Next, I show an example of measurement in an actual concrete structure. The experiment target is entry bridge called New Bridge at Nagoya University. It is an old bridge preserved for non-destructive inspection verification. Here is an example of measurement from a position about 5 meters directly under the bridge. The white frame at the bottom of the figure is the defect detected by the hammering test. This is an example of the image result by the vibration energy ratio. The high vibration energy ratio area can be confirmed at almost the same position as the hammering test. I couldn't introduce this time from the result of verification experiment. It has already been clarified that this non-contact acoustic inspection method can be applied in various places. For example, railway tunnels with curved shape, high bridge or viaducts over 30 meter distance, and short grid with uneven surface. 
Finally, I'll show a video during measurement by NCAI method. The target is a circular cavity defect with a diameter of 200 mm, which is about 40 mm deep from the surface of the concrete specimen. A ladder and a CDV are placed at a position about 5 meters away from the measurement target. And the multiton bus wave is used as an emitted wave. There is no average. The number of measurement point is 35. And the measurement time is about 11 seconds. This is an example result using the vibration energy ratio. This research was carried out with the following grants or assistance. We would like to express our sincere gratitude to all those concerned for their cooperation.